One of the other common places that you're going to see the subjunctive in Latin is going to be in result clauses. So this clause is going to answer the question, what was the result of that state or action? Uh, in English, we might have some a sentence that contains a result clause like the following. I ran so fast that I won the race. Where your main clause is, I ran so fast. And this so suggests the question, well, how fast did you run? What was the result of that? And here, that, that I won the race is going to be our result clause. So what we want to do here in Latin is, how do we form this result clause? And as you might expect, as I already mentioned, uh, you're going to use the subjunctive in that clause. Before we get to that, though, we have some key words. In your main clause, we're going to have uh, markers of, uh, that, that are going to predict there's going to be a result clause coming next. Uh, most of these start with T, so Tom, so, Tantus, so great, or so much, Talus, of such a sort, Tote, so many, Totiens, so often, or Ita, or Sik, so, or in such a way. And then your clause marker, your result clause, is going to be started with the uh, conjunction ut, or if it's negative, ut known. So note, no nay. We're going to use ut or ut known, and this negative doesn't need to be known. It could be ut nemo. Right? I ran so fast that no one caught me, ut nemo. Uh, but it's going to be some real negative. You're always going to have the ut in a result clause. So what do these look like? Well, there are two types. We're going to have primary sequence result clauses and secondary sequence result clauses. And remember, a primary sequence is going to have a present, future, or future perfect verb in the main clause. And so the verb in the result clause is going to be in the present subjunctive. So primary sequence, just like with, with purpose clauses, we're going to use present subjunctive. So let's take a look at this. Habemus tot discipulos ut spatium plenum sit. We have so many students that the space is full. Tot so many. So we have so many dis the, the students that the space is full. Femina tam pulcra est. The woman is so beautiful, how beautiful is she, that omnes se amen, that everyone loves her. Or ita curo, I ran in such a way that non nun possum umbulare, there's our negative, that now I am not able to walk. So I run in such a way that now I'm not able to walk. And if we have primary sequence, then we must be able to have secondary sequence. And here too, just like with uh, purpose clauses, if your verb is in the secondary tense, remember that's the imperfect. So if your main verb is imperfect, perfect, or pluperfect, the verb in the result clause is going to be in the imperfect subjunctive. So let's take a look at some of these. These are the same sentences, but now in the past tense. Habuumus tot discipulos ut spatium plenum eset. We had so many students that the space was full. So there's our imperfect subjunctive. Or femina tam pulcra erat ut omnes se amarant. The woman was so beautiful that everyone loved her. Or ita kukuri. So amarant, imperfect subjunctive. Ita kukuri, I ran in such a way that now I am unable that. I ran in such a way that, I guess, let's leave out the nunc there, that I was not able to walk. All right, so if your main verb is in the past, the verb in your subordinate clause and your result clause is going to be in the imperfect subjective.